Can playing music boost your students' academic success? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now, I'm not going to go through the whole alphabet, but how does that melodic mnemonic boost my retrieval? And why does da 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 that jingle evoke a certain image in your mind? So here's a question. Does your school have a traditional bell between lessons or does it play maybe a pop jingle? Uh, outside of the music curriculum, uh, in all of our lessons, how can music uh, boost your students' retention? Now, we don't want loud blaring music just distracting our students, but how can jingles or certain sounds evoke our retention? Now, did you know that in 40% of our English state schools, they no longer offer GCSE music? And in primary schools, music is now taught by non-specialists in two out of five primary schools. So we're in difficult times. And I guess the research behind music is that we know that music requires um, a, a great amount of cognition. It actually connects both our hemispheres together, which is why it boosts lots of our benefits in later life and why we still love recalling all the lyrics in our favourite pop songs. So the most effective teachers watching this, I suspect you are already offering some form of music in your lessons outside of the music curriculum and denying children opportunities to hear like music is like cutting the strings off a violin and expecting them to play it. Music can be the simplest way to boost academic success in your classroom. Uh, so in this blog, all the research findings uh, and some recommendations from me about how you can boost your students' uh, academic outcomes as well as their emotional well-being and at this time of the year, getting some music into your lessons might be the best thing that you can do. So you've got the research paper over there from me and some CPD questions. Thanks for watching.